Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at a paint palette from Schmincke. This is a fairly new paint palette released very recently by Schmincke and they've released a couple of palettes like this and they're doing it in a vintage style of how they used to do it um, back quite a long time ago. So this is done vintage style. You can see here we've got some really nice beautiful vintage packaging all as well in German as well, obviously they're a German company and yeah it's just really cool to see packaging and sets like this in the modern day. So on the back of the box I'll read it for you, it says in English the retro line is a revival of the historical Horodam watercolours that were once used for beautiful watercolour paintings. Horodam Akorao finest watercolours in best quality. And this is an eight colour set. So let's open this up and take it out and have a look at the tin. And with the tin we've got a couple of cards as well, just with some information on. So the German on this card, it's in German that says Danke, das Sie, Teil unserer Geschichte sind. Which means in English, thank you for being part of our history. Which I thought was pretty cool and a nice touch. And then we have a little booklet here which has some space for you to swatch out some of the colours on and it also includes the colour and numbers as well at the top there and then as well on the back there are instructions on how to use the colour chart and the paints. So this is a tin, it's a, they call it a whiskey painter tin, so it's a very small tin that fits in the palm of the hand and it has says on this front there on the side H. Schmincke & Co, which is what they used to be called before they were shorter than just two Schmincke, as they're known now. And we open up and we can see all eight colours inside, all wrapped nicely and kept in place. So let's take a closer look at the pans now, once I get them out. And they are the same as all Schmincke pans, they are wrapped nicely, they contain all the right information, they contain the colour name, the pigment information, and whether or not the paint is transparent or opaque. It also, I believe, contains any warnings if it contains a pigment that is maybe toxic. And as well, it also contains the light fastness information too, so you have all the information on your paint. Each colour also includes a product or catalogue number as well, so you know if the paint is the same even if they change the formulation at some point in the future, so you know which colour you're ordering. So here it is all unwrapped and looking pretty. It's a super nice tin and the paints are really nice. I often find myself just sitting there stroking the pans because they feel so nice to touch, they're all smooth, they're all set nicely. It's just a really, really cool palette. So I'm going to swatch all of these colours out now. I'm going to swatch them out on cold pressed watercolour paper. That way if there's any granulation in the paints, um, it will show up as well in the swatching. I made sure to keep all the labels and stuck them to the paper too, just so I knew what was in each pan and the colour information. It also prevents the little labels from getting lost. The amount of times I try to save labels and not stick them to anything and they end up getting lost later on down the line, it's really frustrating. For those that want a closer look at some of the packaging here and the colour chart, I will leave pictures and scans of the colour chart and pictures of the, the packaging up over on my Patreon page which I'll link down below if anybody wants to sign up to it. So here we go, here we go and start swatching out the paints. The way I normally swatch paints is I will put a concentrated swatch of colour at the top of each square and blend it out with clear water. This shows us quite a lot of things, it shows us how the paint and pigment moves through the water and how much they're going to flow. It also shows us how the colour looks 
in different forms of concentration. So the top will be the most concentrated that you can get the colour, and at the bottom will be almost like a wash kind of consistency. And here is a list of all eight colours included in this half pan set. We have Chrome Yellow Hue Lemon, Vermilion, Ultramarine Finest, Viridian, Yellow Raw Ochre, Raw Umber, English Venetian Red, and Schmincke's Paints Grey. This is a really nice colour selection. There's plenty here to play with and lots of mixing opportunity here so this is a pretty good colour selection. A couple of things to note here that are pretty good. There are no white paint in this set and there's no true black paint in this set so that's quite a nice touch too because a lot of sets contain these colours and in my personal opinion they're kind of wasted. Not many watercolour artists use black and white in their paintings, so that was nice. The Payne's Grey I just want to mention as well in the set, it's called Schmincke's Payne's Grey, as opposed to the more traditional Payne's Grey. Traditionally Payne's Grey is more blue in colour, whereas the Schmincke Payne's Grey is much more neutral, and is more on the blacker side. This is a colour I bought a very long time ago in a tube, and initially I did not get on with it, I really hated the colour. But after using it quite a bit, I really fell in love with this colour. It's a really nice, great colour. It's neutral, it's almost black, but not quite black. And it's nowhere near as strong or as overpowering as most sort of true blacks, I would call them, just sort of single pigment black paints. So you can use them in paintings and illustrations without completely sucking the life out of it, um, which we'll see in a bit as well. I always well comment personally, I'm not a huge fan of having both the yellow ochre and the raw umber in the set together. I feel they're fairly close, as you can see here, in the hue and colour. And I feel that might be a bit of a waste, but they're still really nice colours and they should provide some good mixing with them. So we'll see how that goes. I have used Schmincke paints before, however I'm yet to give them a full proper review yet. So that is something that is in the works, but it's going to take a very long time because it's part of a very long to-do list, but I am working on it and hopefully I will have that ready for you at some point, a full review, because I've not reviewed them at all on my channel. I will say this, that they're very nice paints and I enjoy working with them quite a lot, so I really should give them a proper review. So let's take these paints on a proper test drive and paint an illustration with them. I apologise, I seem to have misplaced some footage of me starting this illustration, but here we go, we're not too far in. And I decided that I was going to do an illustration of um, Hilda from the series called Hilda on Netflix. It's a series I've been watching recently as they dropped the third and final season and I really love the colours and the stories and felt inspiration 
to paint it. I'm painting here in my etch -a sketchbook which I also really love and really want to paint more in so keep an eye out for that. When doing this illustration I wanted to keep in mind that I didn't want to use any harsh black outlines. The animation and illustration style of Hilda traditionally contains um, black outlines on things and I didn't want to go down that route. I wanted to keep it sort of without the outlines so I opted to use darker colours for some shadows instead. So as I mentioned, this set is one of a couple that are available. And as well, another thing that is available from Schmincke this time around from the vintage line is Cochineal Red, which was not included in this set. You can get a tube of it separately or even one of the other sets, I believe. Um, for those that don't know, Cochineal Red is made from beetles and it's a fugitive red pigment that was used back in the day. And I think we might still use it today for food coloring. Um, but it's an interesting red if you want to expand your paint collection with a vintage paint. I will leave links down in the description bar below to Jackson's website and list all the different things you can get in the vintage line from Schmincke, as well as their standard line of Schmincke Horodan paints. I will also link any other products used in today's video, such as the paper, the, the sketchbook, and the brushes if I can find links to them. If you like um, Schmincke products, I will leave a link up in the archives as well to a playlist I've put together of all the sort of Schmincke things I've tried over the years if you wanted to um, have some more Schmincke fun.
So here we go, the illustration is all finished now. And my kind of final thoughts on this is that it's a really nice set. It's got really great colours for mixing and I really enjoyed playing with it. And I can't wait to use it more in the future. It's also a great size tin if you like to paint on location quite a lot. So you can take it with you, it will fit nicely in a pocket or a bag or a rucksack or handbag or whatever. And you should be able to take it with you to paint on the go. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Make sure you head over to my Instagram, Patreon, etc. If you want to see more on this set. But yeah, I've had real fun with these. And let me know what you think down in the comments. If you own this set or some other Schmincke sets. If you enjoy them or not. Sowieso. Aus Deutsch. Danke für Zuschauen. Und bis später.